What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to be showing you some really yummy and really easy vegan recipes that you can make if you're in college or if you're just a busy person. I got you. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you want to try any of these recipes out. My personal favorite is definitely the baked apple oatmeal, which is the last recipe in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of of food inspiration on there and without further ado let's just get on into the video this tastes pretty close to a milkshake and it's really refreshing so all you're gonna need is a peppermint tea bag and a frozen banana also some cacao powder you're gonna want to put some almond milk I wouldn't do as much as I did because you don't want it to be too watery then some ice cubes pour that tea in I needed to thicken mine up so I also added blueberries. I know using tea in a smoothie recipe may be intimidating but I promise you it tastes so good. I eat avocado toast so much so I needed something to spice it up so we're making caramelized onion avocado toast. Now this may sound weird to you but I promise it will make you feel like you ordered something at a fancy restaurant. I just feel like this is very creative and it may not be for everyone, but definitely give it a try if you do like that caramelized onion taste. I made one with and without hummus and honestly both versions were good so I just added the onion on top. Definitely chop it up into slices just because it's kind of hard to bite onion with your teeth. I don't know. I added lemon, which is a must to avocado toast, and some seasoning, and we are done. This is a dish I almost never make, but it is very convenient. So I just made some tofu in my air fryer. You can also make tofu in the oven or on a skillet. I tried out this vegan ramen today and this one is really healthy. It has like 30 grams of protein in it, which is insane. You can order these online, I believe, and I will try to link it down below. They also have like different types of flavors. They have black garlic chicken, which is not real chicken, of course, and then spicy beef. I just thought it was an interesting brand and definitely really cool if you're vegan and trying to get your protein in because it can be very hard I just reached out to them to see if they could give you guys any special deals so if you use my link down below you can get free shipping off of your purchase so definitely let me know if you guys end up trying these or if you want to try it this one was supposed to be shrimp flavored but it of course didn't have any shrimp in it so I just added some frozen vegetables and some tofu if you're in the mood to make something healthy, these are chickpea chocolate chip cookies and the ingredients are super clean. I will link the recipe down below. Definitely don't just follow this video. A Nutri Bullet. I don't have a food processor, but it actually turned out fine, and I just kind of stirred the parts that the Nutri Bullet didn't get with my spoon. Yeah, what if we could grow just like the flowers through the concrete? Just you and me. Hold me now, hold me now. Tell me things, tell me all about how you feel. Just let yourself go. Because I made my cookies a little bit bigger, they did take longer in the oven. I want to say they were in there for about 35 minutes and they did turn out really good. This recipe does not have a lot of sugar in it, so it's not super sweet, but it's a nice healthy alternative. Whenever I put my blue matcha on my story, I always get tons of questions on Luca, how do you make this? It's actually so easy. All you need is this blue butterfly pea powder from Amazon. It's like $10 and it basically just dyes everything blue. It comes from a plant, I believe, or a flower. So that's why it's blue. Anyway, science is cool. Oh, Bill Nye the science guy. Anyway, I just go through the normal process one does to make matcha. You gotta just put some sugar in it and then get all the glumps out by mixing it you guys know how to make matcha by now and then I just pour some almond milk for the 
this last recipe, I'm going to be making baked apple oatmeal. So this would be great for if you are having a chill weekend to yourself and you want to make something for breakfast because this does take kind of a little bit of a longer time than the other recipes, but I think it's going to be really good. It does call for a lot of ingredients, so definitely make a trip to the store before you start this. I'm going to see how quick I can get this done. Setting my stopwatch. Let's go. Because cooking isn't stressful enough as it is. I just got the pre-chopped kind, so it was easier. I really hate measuring out spices, so I just eyeball it. I bought ground ginger. We got three minutes on the clock. I should really measure out salt because I always put too much and it, it just never works out. I haven't used applesauce in the longest time, so I think it's gonna make it taste really sweet and good. I just realized that this recipe actually isn't vegan because it calls for eggs. Just this one that's not vegan, I'm so sorry. Probably should use a bigger spoon than this tiny one. Also, I feel like this is more of like a comfort breakfast and it's kind of like a fall, has a fall vibe to it because of the apples and cinnamon. Also makes for the perfect rainy morning breakfast if you want to do that. Oh no, I forgot the coconut oil. Then I made it under 10 minutes. Proof that there's not been any editing to this. I have to wait 30 minutes until I have to eat this. Don't know how that's gonna happen. I'm starving. Guys, this was by far my favorite recipe. I'm just a huge oat girl and this really hit home for me. I would recommend to add whipped cream, almond milk, or maybe even a yogurt as a topping. So that is it for this video. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment down below. I make a new video every single week on college lifestyle and fitness. If you want to be a part of that party, just hit the subscribe button with your notifs on. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video next Sunday. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think.